know what a lot of people don't understand about coffee it's, it's not just like a cheap caffeine fix or a, you know a sweet like dessert beverage it's actually also a very cheap way to experience something new with people you care about so today I'm reviewing the cafe french roast uh, and I'm using the French press to do it. I have a four cup French press, so add a tablespoon of coffee to a cup of water. Um, you want to essentially do one tablespoon per cup, or a fourth of a cup of coffee to water. Um, so anyway, I've always wanted this. It's a little pricey for what it is. Um, Big cafe at the drive through is a dollar uh, a cup. A large mid cafe will set you back one buck. And I usually like it. It's probably in my top two of uh, fast food coffees. Number two, it's matched at the top, number one with In N Out. So you want good fast food coffee. Either go to mid cafe or get In N Out coffee. Um, for a little more, a dollar, twenty-five or thirty-five, depending on where you're at. Uh, and yeah, but I always avoid it because on the shelf it's like five fifty-six. It's not super expensive, but in this case it was on clearance. So the coffee comes coarsely ground, uh, which is the perfect for the French press. Beans are very oily, which you see in a lot of darker roasts. And the aroma is all there. It smells amazing for bag coffee. But we'll see how it tastes. Push that down slow. I didn't add any salt, if any of you knew the salt trick, because I never had salt on the first try. I do it a lot of different times because the taste does become different. It's not salty coffee or anything. I do find that it kills a lot of the bitter notes. Um, but yeah, never on the first time of trying a coffee will I add salt. So as of now, this smells amazing. I'm sorry about the weird, quirky cup I got to drink this out of, but, you know, we're all out of styrofoam cups of Wally World, and, yeah, aside from that, I lost my X-Files coffee mug at, uh, Disneyland a few weeks ago, so I need to get a new one. So off the bat, you know, you get a light foam which isn't a bad thing, it's very common with the French press. Um, you know, nice hot cup of coffee. Let's taste it. Really good notes of, uh, getting kind of a, Plastic smell, I don't know if that's from the improper coffee cup here, from the actual coffee. But it also smells like mid cafe if you ever get a tall hot coffee there and you take the lid off and smell it. No distinguishable notes, okay? I mean, it, you gotta understand it's not third wave coffee, it's mid cafe trying to compete with coffee. So, you know, they have like breakfast blend and French roast, things that would have been like old coffee selling points maybe about 10 years ago, but no, you know, exotic flavor profiles or aromas. It just smells like really high quality coffee. Tastes like the real deal. Um, you 
Now these come in 12 ounce packets, but they're a little more expensive or just a little under what the coffee bean and tea leaf uh, coffees come out to. So I typically avoid it because I'm like, well, that's a high price to taste pink cafe. Um, but I do love their coffee. It's good fast food coffee. It's my constant go-to if I'm just like, I just want a really good cup of coffee for not, you know, for lunch at work one day. Um, for not a lot of money. You know, it outranks the gas station coffee here. Those Circle K, they're getting the, They have the ground machines now, so I don't know. It's a little more, but it really, you know, McCaffey is a hard one to beat. Like a good wine pairing, you could definitely go with, uh, you know, some kettle cooked chips or, you know, a little Hillshire Farm snack bag. I just had a Walmart uh, market side multi green ciabatta bun. Yeah. Bread at Walmart. Oh, they're trying to redo their bread game. You would have talked to me like a year ago and say the free things not to buy your generic coffee, um, bread, and then produce, of course, because they're just not matched on it. But they're really stepping up their bread game. a good cup. I recommend. Five out of five uh, Nick Cafe. If you like this as a fast food coffee and you want more Mick Cafe, get Mick Cafe. Because, you know, five, five whatever this costs, or six depending on your state. Um, you know, and then you get about 72 cups of coffee. That 12 ounce bag will make about 72 cups. Um, so you get 72 cups of coffee for $5. That's a better deal than buying it at McDonald's every day. And if you like iced coffee from McDonald's, that too, that would only be a little more. You know, you really break down the coffee economics of uh, Coffee is marked up ridiculously. Bad buy, but I will do more reviews. Not a bad buy, but I will do more reviews.